Today we are on uh, chapter 8 of Hebrews. Okay. Jesus, our high priest, from uh, verse 1 to verse 13. Okay? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning, even as we continue to study your word. Father, we pray for your people. Help them to uh, uh, pay attention. Speak to us, open our spiritual eyes, and you will come alive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Covenant. 
But Jesus is called the new covenant. Why old and why new? Old one is based on uh, animal sacrifices. Right? But the new covenant is based on faith. Faith in what Jesus has already done. So it's so much better. Do you still want to kill animals? Sacrifice animals? I don't think you want to do that. Right? Okay? So uh, Jesus is a much more better sacrifice. But why does God need to have a new covenant? A new you know what's the covenant? A new contract. Right? Why? It is written here. These verses is actually taken from the book of Jeremiah. Ah, you go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. You can see the verses at the back bottom. Ah? Verse 31 to 34. Okay, actually, God actually, whatever is in the Old Testament, is actually, God actually foresee that something is going to happen in the future. Ah, okay, and you know that God knows that those uh, human, those animal sacrifices, all the things in the world, they are actually marked. Mark. It's only a type pointing towards Jesus. And the people, did the people follow or not? All the laws of Moses? No, huh? They rebelled against Jesus. And rebelled against Moses in the desert, right? And the people rebel. Even today, no, many people cannot obey. Even after we believe in Jesus, we also cannot obey and follow the law. That's why the law is not so much by law that we are saved. It's by faith, belief in what Jesus has done. Huh? If we want to keep the law, we can't do it. Nobody can. Only one person can go. Only Jesus, huh? he, he is God becoming, and only He can do it. Okay, so we have a better covenant, and not only that, now no, uh, no longer we have the Ten Commandments written in, in stones and all that. But the Bible says God has written His word well. Okay, in our heart. <laughs> okay, of course in the Bible, lah. But we, it's in our conscience. Okay, we remember God, everything. Okay, so in a better way, God will write the, in our put the law in our mind and write them on us. So it's more a spiritual law. So it's not like uh, this, this, do this, do this. It's like we have a lot of uh, written, uh, I mean, instructions, written regulations in school. You have to give. You cannot, uh, you cannot give long hair on this thing. Yeah. But everything is spiritual. So God will not look at you based on what outside you do, but God looks at what is inside you. Okay? So that is the better covenant. Because, of course, it's better. We don't need to, now we don't need to have job, uh, job stage, we don't need to work, we don't need to work. But we still need to believe and live a life right? that is worthy of the gospel. Okay? So, let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this new covenant, for this new high priest, O God, which is the Lord Jesus, that no longer we need to burn and kill sacrifices, O God, to offer to you, Lord. But you have written your law in our mind and in our heart, O oh God, and that is true faith in Jesus that we are saved. Help us to live a life that is worthy of your gospel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.